Just like our pediatric or geriatric trauma patient, the pregnant trauma patient should be regarded with a high level of suspicion for shock. Don't be fooled by normal appearing vital signs because of the increased plasma volume during pregnancy, which can be up to 50% by 32 weeks, your pregnant trauma patient can lose a significant amount of blood before any signs of hypovolemia like tachycardia or hypotension occur. So back to our question, A is the wrong answer to the question. If you suspect blood loss, give fluids and blood early. Don't forget to rotate the patient to the left to shift the uterus off the vena cava or manually displace the uterus to the left. And thus, B is the wrong answer as well. She should be rotated to the left, not the right. Vena cava compression by the uterus can decrease cardiac output by 30% and contributes to hypotension. Remember that the cardiac output increases by 20% at eight weeks and up to 50% at term due to three main factors. Increased preload from increased volume, decreased afterload from decreased vascular resistance, and increased maternal heart rate, which gradually increases over the course of the pregnancy by 10 to 20 beats per minute. Due to the increased cardiac output, cardiac flow murmurs are very common in pregnancy, so an isolated murmur in a stable pregnant trauma patient doesn't indicate cardiac injury. And watch your EKG readout. It may flag as abnormal in pregnant patients, and this is the time for you to remember the normal EKG changes that apply to this group. For example, 15 to 20 degree left axis deviation, transient ST segment and T wave changes, Q wave and lead three and AVF, and inverted T waves in lead three, V1, V2, and sometimes V3. You may also see ectopic beats during a normal pregnancy.